Hey viewers, this is E36 Fanatic, Steven here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your radiator out of a E36 BMW. On these cars, you've got to remove the radiator for a lot of different jobs on the front because there is absolutely no room to work in the front, really, if you need to replace anything, really, around this area. So, especially on these larger six-cylinder motors on the E36 series, uh, you're going to find yourself having to remove the radiator more often than you would like to. But the good news is it's pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to jack up the front end of the car um, on both sides so I can get to the drain plug on the bottom of the radiator. Okay, so whenever I do these videos when I'm jacking up my car uh, or any other car, and uh, I just like showing that, you know, for safety purposes, go ahead and chalk your tires and everything with what you, whatever you got and uh, just just put some wood around the uh, jack stands and everything um, you know jack stands do fail sometimes so it's nice to have a safety safety net for it so the first thing I like to do when I am uh, pulling my radiator and this isn't just something uh, this isn't just something you do if you're pulling the radiator if you're changing the fluid too you would do this um, and this is your radiator right here and here is your here's your uh, here's your tank of the radiator so right here is the drain plug and it's really easy to turn out you can just use a screwdriver and I got my little pan ready and so we're gonna go ahead and do that this crap don't fall all over me Yeah, so it's really easy to. Ah, uh, there it is. Cool. Uh, so while that's draining, leave that to drain for a minute. this cap opening this kind of opening that will release the pressure on it on the coolant so I can go ahead and really flow out see it's got still a good amount left in it to drain so once you're done draining this and you do, you drain the liquid, you drain the coolant for a number of reasons. If you're not actually pulling the radiator and just doing a, a coolant change, uh, you're really supposed to change the coolant uh, every like 20, 30,000 miles. Um, so I, I needed to change the coolant anyways, but I'm replacing a couple, couple uh, other parts. So first thing you're going to do once you're done with that is you've got to pull this plastic cover right here because it's going to be in the way of your radiator when you're trying to pull it. So it's really easy to pull out. Basically you just got these screws and you know just keep track of all these screws you're pulling out and everything and all the bolts so you don't have to go looking for them once you're done. I'll go ahead and pull these screws out of this and pull this out. Okay. So once you've got just these couple of screws out of uh, out of this cover plate, basically, um, you're going to go ahead and pull it out, which is real straightforward on how to do. There we go. Now just set that to the side. You can get a better glimpse of your radiator at this point. And I got some crap in it. You can see all that I need to clean out. This is also a good idea if uh, you need to clean out, clean your radiator. Um, they the car uh, they don't really like to tell you this, but 
you can extend the life of your radiator a lot if you just do some basic maintenance and cleaning on it every so often so anyways so the next step is we got to get <clears throat> we got to get your alternator uh, air duct out of the way so first thing you got to do is you got to go ahead and pull um, pull your air box here so it's real simple if you haven't done this before I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remove it at the mass airflow sensor so you just have these two clips and you can just pull them with your fingers I don't even use a screwdriver and then you got these two 10 millimeter uh, bolts right here and then this pops right out so once we got the air box out we can go ahead and remove this hose which you just have one uh, you just have uh, one little fitting right here or ho you just have one hose clamp right here it's just a flat head and it's not going to be on very very tight at all unfortunately this alternator duct um, because it's in such a weird position it uh, frequently when I see uh, see used cars uh, these BMW 36s it's broken or it's not even there anymore um, so mine broke pretty quickly actually after I bought it so I just threw on some electrical tape on it so at this point <clears throat> um, there's a couple more things to do to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get the radiator out so you're gonna need to remove this small hose right here just unconnected right here and then you're gonna need to remove your upper radiator hose and your lower radiator hose down here uh, since I'm actually doing some work on my whole coolant system I'm removing the radiator to get my water pump I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hose here and here but if you're not doing anything else to it uh, if you're just removing the radiator for whatever reason maybe replacing it I'd just remove it at this connection right here these radiator hoses okay so at this point once you have these hoses disconnected and mine were pretty easy um, I think somebody's replaced them before I own this car because they're in pretty decent condition uh, so once you've got them disconnected from either the thermostat housing or the radiator itself and this little bleeder hose, next thing you can do, and you don't really have to do this in order, but this is how I do it. Next thing you can do is go ahead and pull out this screw, uh, which holds the fan shroud to the radiator. This little screw right here, and then there's another one right here so it's pretty simple you just take a screwdriver just take a screwdriver and get under it and pull it right out and it comes right out that way okay so once you've got all these things done there's just a few things left to do to pull out this radiator so you see these two clips right here there and there you need to remove them so what you do is you just stick in a thin flathead screwdriver and a lot of people seem to have trouble with this but uh, with these clips they're a little bit hard to get out but if you just fiddle with them it'll come loose so once you got that come over here do the same thing There you go. So at this point, the radiator and the fan shroud's pretty much loose. And then you have this connection right here to the radiator that you're going to want to go ahead and remove. And then, last but not least, you got one more main thing to do. <clears throat> so you see these two bolts right here? These, uh, these are running down. These attach to your transmission coolant uh, coolant lines these hold your transmission coolant line so you need to go ahead and unbolt these two bolts at the top they're eight millimeter and at the bottom there's another eight millimeter 
uh, bolt holding this in. And then you're about uh, home free for the radiator. Okay, so besides these two bolts on top, which are really easy to get out, there's one at the bottom, uh, which is more difficult to get at. Uh, I had to use a, or I, I've had to use a monkey wrench to get at it. A little eight millimeter. And it is right under here. It's this little eight millimeter right here. Uh, this rubber's in the way, so I just pull it back. And there's not much room, but once you get a few turns on it, you can just hand loosen it until it's out. So you can see at this point, after pulling these two screws out, and you can just pull this right off. This is completely unattached. And now we can just remove the radiator. Hey, why don't you do it? Because I gotta pull this out. Want me to, what do you want me to do? What do I do? Do I put it on you? All right, I'm gonna go pee with this thing in my hand. <laughs> what if? And then you go. Bathroom breaks are important <laughs> on your slide. Okay. Woo! Mm, look at all them bugs. Your count is high. Manda. Oh wait, you got the... There we go. You got your radiator fluid. And that is how you remove your radiator, ladies and gentlemen. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and remove the fan shroud, and then this auxiliary fan, and then I'll finally get to what I was intending to do in the first place, remove the water pump and the thermostat and replace that. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos on uh, revamping your coolant system and replacing parts, um, I'll attach a few more to this as I continue the process of removing parts on this. Um, also, as you can see, this radiator's filthy. Um, this, all this crap in it, and you can see it all in the fins. This will cause it to prematurely break down over uh, or go bad over time. So I'm gonna clean it up real nice.